I'm his niece. What, yeah. um, were you watching sort of a, a live stream or on, on news today of the decision or sort of how do you hear about it? We yourself? didn't even know. Um, we literally were sitting at home. Some people were at work and we just got started getting text messages. Um, yeah, so. Whatever you were able to grab of, of sort of the decision or what you were able to hear. Um, I kind of knew a couple weeks ago when the, um, the guy, he was like, they needed fresh eyes on the case. And when I heard him talk about it, I just knew then that it wasn't going to go anywhere. What's your reaction to having today happen where it's... It's, it's, it's actually hurtful. It's disappointing. Um, we have a huge family, so a lot of people are hurting behind this. Rashad has kids that are missing him that's going to actually get older one day and be able to see these interviews and see the video of their, sh their dad dying. So that's, that's rough. What do you hope happens now you know gerald griggs with the naacp said there's no um you know statute of limitations on murder rolf was charged with murder do you hope another griggs, prosecutor me, me and griggs we he, he knows who i am so okay. we talk back and forth do you hope with what he said sort of there's no statute of limitations on murder that some other prosecutor another time picks this case up that it, that it gets revived some point and the charges get filed? and that was the only thing I, I didn't understand i didn't understand why they just didn't take it to court because at the end of the day you didn't even give it a chance you just kind of just threw let it go and it was just it is what it is and you just wanted to accept it i don't understand that and then now the big thing is what do we do now what's next so yeah um what's how, how's um richard's immediate family the mother of his kids his kids how, how are um, they doing right now i'm pretty sure his kids are his every day they have to wake up their dad's not not coming back he's never gonna walk in the door again um i'm not sure about the, the girl because we don't she doesn't speak to um, the family he has five siblings though three sisters and uh, two brothers that are here in Atlanta his dad is still alive he's up he's in Ohio okay. but um yeah everybody's it's it's a mess what's your uh, do you have any thoughts on when these officers are charged with felony crimes they're put on administrative leave they can't be out there with their badge and gun um you know in theory now in short time they could be, They'll be back, back on and this and probably he's going to be back in zone three in the same area where we a lot of us live um, and it's crazy. I could be literally at the gas station or anything and I can pull up next to Gary Roth. If APD, the city, you know, the state says he's cleared to be out there, do you want him at least reassigned to a different zone? Yeah, that would make sense. That wouldn't be the safest thing for any, anybody. That's for, not even for us. Um, this whole situation was traumatizing. So not even, I'm not, not even just saying his family, but just people in just period. Um, I don't trust police officers. Anymore. I don't even trust this system anymore. Just from watching how they just kind of played Rashad's case and just put all these things in, just everybody was saying all this different stuff, and they just kind of ran with it and didn't even take it to court. So it's like, what what do we do? Last question for you. Do you hope some other prosecutor in the future picks this up and that it does finally um, That's the plan. We're not going to just just give up on, on, on it. Um, so basically now it's like we're starting from the bottom to figure out what to do next. So Greeks, I'll be contacting him. Yeah. Okay,